hi guys and welcome back to my channel so I'm here with another Dollar Tree haul so one of the things um, that I'm gonna start with because I have it in my hands is this 101 dishes to eat before you die cookbook this is a very very nice cookbook it's got like this cloth um, spine on it when you open it up it looks like this it has a little um, it says superfoods may be good for your health, but what about some superfood that's good for the soul? So it's like indulging type foods. It's got really nice recipes, and like the pictures are super colorful and nice. Um, so for a dollar, I mean this is really good. There's no price on it. I tried to find a price. I couldn't find one. But for a dollar, this is a good cookbook. I don't know if I'm going to give it away as a gift or use it for myself. Um, now, I did get a few things for the house, um, things like that, but I did get a, just a couple more things to add into my giveaway. So remember that I do have a giveaway that ends tomorrow. So go back to the previous Dollar Tree haul, the one I did before this one, and make sure that you um, enter to, into the giveaway so you can win. Um, so starting with one of the things I did get for the giveaway is this super adorable scented notebook. It's a little cupcake. It looks like a little Cyclops cupcake, but it's got this um, really, really, really cute pen. It's got this jewel on it, so I thought that's super, super adorable. I love it. So I did get that, and it says it gets 50 sheets, and it says it's scented. I can only... It doesn't smell like anything through the bag, so I'm assuming it smells like a cupcake. Also, I got for the giveaway a washi. Again, I don't use washi because I tried to do the planner that didn't work out. So I did just get this specifically for the giveaway, though. I also picked up this lighter. I really love Sugar Skulls um, a lot. And so I really, really, really liked this one. It says on the bottom, Dia de los Muertos, which is Day of the Dead. So I really like that. Um, I also got one of the other um, designs, which is just this sugar skull. And then I did pick up this one. There were a few other designs I didn't care for, so I didn't get them, but they were all like all sugar skull. Um, I did take some pictures of uh, quite a few things that I did not purchase, and I'm going to put those pictures at the end of the video. So just make sure you look out for those. Um, now, this is a soap dish, but I grabbed it because Greg's man cave is like, he's an LA Lakers fan, um, and his whole man cave is like LA Lakers or Pittsburgh Steelers, so I am so tired of him throwing his change on his tables, so I got this soap dish to put his change in, and I think that it's super adorable, it matches his theme, you know those um, things you play at like the arcades that have the nets and you throw the basketballs in them he has one of those in there so I just figured this is just perfect also for Greg I picked him up this three pack of liquid shoe polish it comes with a um, a brown a white and a black and I got him these because he has um, tennis shoes that he cleans religiously but I guess there's a couple scuff marks that he can't wash off and for 200 and something dollars a pair we're definitely gonna need to whiten those up so I got he needed the white shoe polish and since it came with three I figured you know why not they didn't have white by itself anyways um something I did get for Axel is this new dog toy Axel apparently sees it already um, it's just a rope it seems like it's pretty sturdy he chews up everything in like five seconds anyways so I mean he needed a new toy here you go so he'll play with that also for Greg I did um, I got myself one of these auto cell phone holders I got one for me and he saw it in my car and he asked could he have it no he cannot have it I said but I will get you one and I was so like confident in saying that I was gonna get it for him I know Dollar Tree. I went to like four of them and I could not find them. It's been a couple weeks now. Finally, I went into one today before a doctor's appointment and they had this one. And they actually had one in white too, which I had not seen. I had only seen the black ones. So now he's got one for his car. 
um, we have a trip to New Orleans in um, October. Um, it's me and Greg and my best friend Jessica. And we are going to go and, you know, New Orleans. It's not Mardi Gras, but if you've never been to New Orleans, you know, when you're in the French Quarter at night for, like, the parade, there's always parades on the weekends and there's lots of parties. Even though it's not Mardi Gras, they still have tons of beads and masks. So even if we don't wear them out, um, if we just want to do photo ops, I did find this feather mask. Ooh. So I found this pretty green and yellow and purple i found that one and like i said this is even if we're just going to take pictures in our hotel room um but then i found this one which is like the yellow and the purple and then like the animal printed look on these feathers so i mean um i really like them i think they're cute and for a dollar i can tell you they're much cheaper than the masks that you buy in new orleans um also, we, um, you know, Greg's mother did um, pass away um, from metastasized breast cancer. And, you know, October is um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So check out your Dollar Trees. And, you know, even if you buy one or two things, definitely, um, you know, get a little something. Proceeds do go to um, the Susan G. Coleman Breast Cancer Fund. So I'm a big um, advertiser of that. I, I even have a tattoo here. Um, for my grandmother that passed away from breast cancer. Um, so I'm a big advocate of, you know, helping out those type of foundations. Um, we have a breast cancer um, 5K here um, every year for um, the Susan G. Coleman Foundation. And we'll be doing that um, at my job. The whole, um, our whole team is going to get together and um, we're going to do the 5K. So I've got a few things for some of the people to wear. Um, I did find this... Um, pink power breast cancer awareness bracelet it's like the paracord it's got the um like a rubber breast cancer um thing on it and it is just it just says that on here pink power breast cancer awareness parachute bracelet um and then if a lot of you don't know what these are you could this is really like super strong cord and you can take it apart if you get caught in the woods or something but yeah i thought this was super cute and it just clips and then let's put it on i'm not good at putting bracelets on myself so let's see if i can get this i can't i can't do it but it just looks like that so i think it's super adorable so someone will wear that these are adorable they're enamel tack pins it's genuine Austrian crystal layered in 18 karat gold. It's just a ribbon pin. It's got a little jewel on it. I thought this was so stinking adorable. And it just has this type of back to it. So I think this is really cute. I like it and I'm gonna wear that. Um, also I got a magnet for my car. It's the butterfly. I think mommy loves Gigi. I saw her haul this and I knew immediately that I needed it in my life. This is a really cute magnet for the car. That's what it looks like in the bag. But it's super cute and I had to have it. And then we do have a couple guys um, that work in my department at work. Um, and so I did get them the Real Men Wear Pink buttons. Real Men Wear Pink. Real Men Wear Pink. And it's just, of course, like the normal buttons, a pin in the back. It does say a portion of the proceeds from the sale of this product will go to support breast cancer research, treatment, and education. So, I mean, every little bit counts. It's something that hopefully we find a cure for one day, ladies. we got to save the tatas, though. So, like I said, whenever I see this type of stuff out, I always get um, lots of different things. And there's even more stuff that I'm going to buy because I do want to get stuff for everybody on my team. Um, and I took pictures of that section that we have, and that'll be at the end of the video as well. They had everything from buffs, or well, the bandanas. Um, they had scarves, they had tumblers, they had cups, they had uh, baseball caps, they had stickers, they had all sorts of magnets, they had buttons, they had bracelets, I mean, they had lanyards, they had so many different things that you, you could buy um, to definitely um, show your support and help bring awareness. Um, so the last, oh, I did get this. This I googled because I wasn't sure how much this stuff usually cost. But apparently this stuff is pretty expensive. Like I think I saw something on Amazon for the same 
price of like $14.97, but it's the Mr. Plumber, and it's the 30% more, and the drain opener, and it's, whoa, it's uh, 42 ounces, so this, I'm going to try it out and see, I usually just use like Drano, but you know what, if this works, and it's not made by Dollar Tree, it's their own brand, so I guess that's why it's normally so expensive, but to have this for a dollar, uh, yeah, I'm not going to pass that up, so had to take care of that. Now the last, um, no, I don't, I keep saying the last. Oh, sorry, close up. I saw this, it's the Spa House Mind and Body Dye Free Paraben Free Calming Body Wash Stress Relief with Nature's Lavender and Chamomile. It is body wash. It smells so good. I wish there was Smell-O-Vision because it has such a faint scent of lavender. It's not too overpowering and it smells amazing. And this is a 16 ounce um, container. And I did, they had all sorts of men's fragrances in this brand, women's fragrances. And this is also a pricier brand if you check online. So to get this for a dollar is a good deal. I took pictures of all the different scents that they had. And it's also, again, at the end of the video. Now, the last things I got are food related items. Tonight for dinner, I'm going to make chili mac. So I bought three cans of the Hormel chili with beans. So there's two of them. There's my third can. My third can of chili. I bought two cans of the Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. I bought one can of the Goya small red beans. A 50% more free box of the elbow noodles. So this is a 24 ounce box of elbow noodles for a dollar. Sign me up. And I bought a packet of the McCormick mild chili seasoning. So the only thing I didn't get for the meal tonight is the hamburger meat, which I already had, like the ground beef. So th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars plus the hamburger meat will save three. So $11 for a big meal tonight. And what you do is you just brown your hamburger meat, boil your elbow noodles, drain your hamburger meat, and mix your hamburger meat with all of the cans, the, the beans, the chili, everything. And once your noodles are done, drain those and dump those back in it and mix it all together. It's really, really good. I um, also got myself this little snack, but I forgot and I didn't eat it. But it's the Imperial Nuts Honey Roasted Cashew Mix. No, Axel, you can't have this. And then last, and these do not expire until January of 2017, but I got the box of the Club Crackers. I know for a while, you know, we a lot of them were having them, but then I didn't see them for a while. So when I saw these, I picked them up. That's a really good deal. So I had to grab those. So hope you enjoyed the Dollar Tree haul. That's all I have for you. Do not forget, giveaway ends tomorrow. So make sure you're subscribed. Give um, and you go to that other video and please make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe so glad you guys tuned in have a great day bye